my fellow Supercam adventurers and explorers, how are we doing today? Can anyone tell me where we are today? We are indeed at an Aztec tower. Now the Aztecs lived a very long time ago, but today we are going to recreate their fabulous jewellery that they used to wear. And we're gonna do this with two very simple steps. Step one, get pasta. Step two, paint the pasta. And there may be a third step, maybe. Of course, there's a third step, is putting it on the string. So come with me and I'll show you exactly what we need to do. First things first, let's get our pasta. You need pasta that has a hole in each end. I've got some spirally pasta with a hole in, that's quite hard to thread. But I've also got some straight pasta with a hole in either end as well. You're also going to need a bowl of water to clean your paint brushes. Some paint brushes, I've got two here. And of course you're going to need lots of different paint. I filled mine up with a few different colours but you can choose whatever colours you would like. And we're also going to need some sort of string to attach all of our pasta to once it's dry. You need to make sure that you measure it out so that it fits exactly around the body part that you want it to be. I'm making mine a bracelet so I'm measuring out my wrist and then I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut this up into that perfect size. Remember to leave a little bit of space at the end because you want to make sure that you can tie it up nice and tight. Now it's time to begin painting. Grab your pasta and start painting it whatever colour you would like. You can do them multicoloured, you can do them in patterns, you can do them rainbow. It's completely up to you which colours you make your pasta. Warning, you must do this next part when your pasta is dry. Now it's time to thread our pasta. So grab the string that you cut earlier and you're going to pop this through the different pasta that you made. You've got to tie a knot in one end so it doesn't fall off and then start putting your pasta on the string. Remember what I said about your pasta needing to be dry? You can see the paint coming off my fingers here and it's a little bit hard to thread. So make sure it's completely dry before you start trying to thread it through.
Welcome back, we done it. We have made such fabulous jewellery. How cool does it look? Well done, you've done really hard work today and been really creative at the same time. So big claps to you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.